Good afternoon, students, and welcome to the third and last session of the assessment and evaluation for the advanced certificate in senior, edu senior primary education. I will do today unit seven to nine, um, and yes, this will be the third and last part of this course. All right, so let's move on. We will look quickly at what unit seven to nine is about. So we see unit seven is about feedback and reporting of assessment results. Unit eight is statistical analysis and interpretation of assessment results. And unit nine is instruments and elements of learning, instruction and parent feedback. So you will notice much of this is about feedback and reporting of assessment. We move on to unit seven. And a broad outline of this unit, we, sees that, we see that it explores the importance of giving feedback to learners, reporting of the assessment results, the nature of the feedback to benefit the learner, and the criteria for praise and critical feedback on report cards. All right, so without further ado, we just move on to 7.1. You can look in your study guides and you will see all the subsections there. So, 7.1, we look at the role of feedback to the learners after an assessment. So, what is feedback? Effective feedback is based on clear learning outcomes. So, you should know what is the learning outcomes when you give the feedback and focus on that. It encourages and takes into account pupil self-evaluation it highlights where success occurred and where improvements can be made. Um, it is to be given promptly and regularly. It gives strategies for the learner for them to improve on their work. There is also some time allocated for the learner to read through all the comments. Um, it expects some focused improvement based on feedback. All right. Self-assessment, when we look at that, the development of self-assessment of learning, we see that self-assessment is an essential part of learning, of learning on how to learn. It's crucial in helping learners take ownership of what they have learned, and when it's done right, it can be a very motivated, motivating experience for the learners. When we look at teacher and peer dialogue around learning, effective feedback includes ongoing dialogue. In other words, this is not something that just happens at the end of the year. It's something that should happen throughout the year. Teachers encourage ongoing dialogue to help shape the learners and their improvement. It's also a crucial part of verbal feedback, which can be used, um, make use of questions to judge the learner's understanding. So in other words, feedback is also a tool for a teacher to um, see if the learner in their classes really do understand what they are learning. Clarifying good performance. Effective feedback incorporates three elements. The first one is what the learner has done well. Second, areas in which they have been less successful and a brief indication of how improvements can be made. When we look at these three points, we see that we first focus on the positive things, on what did the learner do well in the assessments or tests or examinations or projects. The second area is to give some positive criti criticism. In other words, you also show the learner where they have been less successful, you will see they use the word less successful and not where they have failed. So it's important to stay positive when you give, or use positive terms when you give feedback. Lastly, after you've done these two points, it's important to indicate to the learner where they can, can improve and how they can make these improvements. Moving on to the importance of reports regarding learning progress, the nature of these reports and opportunities for using them. Reporting is closely linked to assessment as we need to assess a learner's progress in order to give feedback. That's a very logical sentence so it should be easy to remember. 
evaluation of learner performance based on standards, on learning outcomes and expected levels of performance. All right. The importance of reporting serves many different purposes. It helps to inform teaching and learning. As part of the learner's records, it may be useful to other teachers as well. So it may be used to identify a need for intervention and learning support. As you can see here, it links in with what was previously said. So it helps to inform, it helps to show us where improvements can be made, and it also helps where other teachers need to find out how a learner is performing in a different class than their own. Opportunities for reporting. Here we have different types of reporting. We get formal reporting, parent meetings, and informal reporting. Okay, so as you can see, I'm only highlighting the most important parts of these three units. Please read again in your study guide to make sure that you know what exactly these terms mean. Okay, move on to 7.3 which is the report card and the criteria for acceptable praise and feedback on report cards. So here are some guidelines that you can use when you are writing report cards for your learners. The very first point says that one should write meaningful comments referring to the progress of the learner. Again, we first focus on what the learner has achieved, what have they excelled in or progressed in um, during this certain time. We should anticipate questions that parents may ask. In other words, this will be also a guideline for when you are writing. So think about what a parent might ask about their own child, and then you write the, the reports or the comments in the report card. Recognize that parents vary widely in their educational experiences. Basically, what this means is some parents might not be as educated as you are, or not as knowledgeable as you or even their own children are. This also relates to the fact that we should um, not use a lot of words and we shouldn't use very complicated terminology. Keep it simple and keep it clear. All right. You, you can see if, um, in your study guide you will find some examples of feedback and report card criteria. Make sure you familiarize yourself with that. Okay, that's the end of Unit 7.